Hello everyone, my name is Wamid Abdurrahman and I'm going to demonstrate uh, installing EGS NRC Monte Carlo code on a Windows 10 uh, system. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to their website uh, on GitHub and just follow the instructions uh, posted there. So this is their website. We'll scroll, we'll, uh, hit on the inst uh, installation instructions and uh, then we will go to the uh, install EGS on Windows uh, link. The installation of EGS NRC on Windows involves three steps installing prerequisite software and then downloading the EGS NRC files and then configuring EGS NRC. And the prerequisite software are divided into two categories. The first four here are essential. Uh, these are the compilers for, for uh, EGS uh, NRC to run. And then uh, there are three additional uh, softwares that are optional. And uh, I, would I will also install them um, in this demonstration. Uh, the, the, the Git is required to clone the EGS NRC uh, from uh, GitHub, uh, TCL and TK are required to build uh, graphical user interfaces and the GRACE is a nice plotting tool. For the compilers, we need to go to, to uh, Ming GW. We will download uh, that compiler. So we ha they have a link here posted. Uh, we need to uh, download the install file. Okay, so when you click on it, it will uh, bring you to uh, this page on uh, uh, SourceForge. Uh, these are the versions of the compilers uh, uh, that they have. Uh, you should just scroll down and uh, then you will find here the install uh, file. So you click on it and let it download and, and run. Yeah, so we'll download it and run it. Now, uh, there is uh, one step that's very important. The instructions uh, uh, on the EGS NRC website is uh, you need to download a specific version. Okay. So, uh, uh, they strongly recommend uh, using version 6.3.0 revision 1 since many of the new uh, versions uh, are not compatible uh, with the x8464 for uh, a 64-bit install. And we're doing a 64-bit install here. So they have a, a screenshot of the settings. So I need to just go and change here to 6.3.0. And the architecture, uh, that's the, this is fine, this is fine. And I need to just change the build revision to one. And I will hit next and uh, yes uh, okay so we're going to leave it uh, to download and install it will take some time let's click on next and done we're ready now to go to the next step which is very important we need to uh, modify the environments of the windows uh, 10 and we do that by typing uh, the word environment in the search bar. So we'll come here to the search bar and we just click on edit environment. This window popped up. We will hit on environment variables and then we need to uh, go to the path, path, click edit. We're clicking edit and we'll add a new path and uh, we need to type in uh, uh, the path of uh, the bin folder uh, for the compilers. We can just browse, so we'll click on browse. It's usually going to be installed on uh, the C if you use the, all the default settings. So on the PC, uh, local, and we'll go to the program files. Uh, there it is. Okay, and we just need to 
select the bin directory and we hit on OK. 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 My recommendation at this stage is to reboot uh, Windows uh, so that uh, you're sure that when you log, you log in, these environments are loaded. So uh, I will do that now. Okay, so I rebooted the computer. Let's go back and continue the installation. So we finished this part. The next step, we can test actually the compilers if they down, if they are configured properly. Uh, so we'll open a uh, command prompt and we can type in this command. So I'll just copy it and paste it. And it should uh, report back the GNU make uh, version 4.1. So the next step is to install uh, TCL TK. That's uh, active. Uh, we need to download uh, active TCL. Uh, so we'll click on it. Click on this link. It should direct us to their website. And we'll download active uh, 8.6. Okay. We need to probably create an account. So now I'm here at this page. Uh, I'm going to select on Windows and download it for Windows. This is the ins installer. And we will uh, run it. So the installation started. Uh, so I'll just use the, the default settings. Next. Accept. Typical. And I'll leave that and uh, installation of active state finished. So we'll search for Git Windows and uh, we will download the package now. There it is. And we'll run it. Okay, download uh, finished, and now uh, it's going to run the install file. So we'll hit on yes, and again we just <coughs> go select the default settings, uh, and that's it. We need to also install the Grace. Uh, it's not necessary, but uh, uh, it's a nice plotting tool. So we'll, it's one of the option optional uh, software. So we'll go to uh, we'll download Qt Grace. Okay, and uh, that's the for Windows. Yes, so I can. It's a zip file. So once uh, it's do downloaded, uh, so now I'll just save it. So the Qt Grace uh, zip file. Uh, downloaded and we can just open the folder and click on right click and extract it so extract all my suggestion is to install it uh, extract it uh, in the program files directory so that uh, others could actually other users on the computer could use it uh, so I'll do that but you it's fine you can actually extract it in the download folder or in, under your user area so I will uh, browse and uh, go to the C drive and program files. So we select that folder and extract it there. Yes, continue. I have admin. 
okay uh, so now it is uh, under uh, the program files directory qt grace if you double click and you go to the bin folder uh, then the application this is the application file qt grace uh, we can actually right click and uh, create a shortcut on the desktop yes so let's run it uh, when you run it it will take you uh, in, uh, on a wizard to initial setup wizard there are 19 uh, uh, items I think uh, you don't need to worry yourself uh, worry about it just hit next for all items okay so this is essentially this is a plotting tool uh, you can do your plots with Excel or uh, numbers or any other application but uh, as we will demonstrate uh, later on uh, EGS NRC uh, actually is capable of producing uh, text files with a format that is compatible with Qt Grace so you just open these uh, files with Qt Grace and you will find uh, it plotting the data with the appropriate naming of the axis and so on. So that's why uh, I recommend to use it. Okay, the next step is now, uh, okay, we have the Git installed. So now we need to clone uh, the XNRC into our computer. So we'll hit uh, the command shell and the the command that we need to type is actually here so let's copy that and paste it so this command will actually clone the EGS NRC uh, from git uh, under a directory uh, like in this case it will be under users slash wabdel it will create a directory called EGS NRC so uh, okay uh, probably i need to just because we have installed it cmd git yeah, yes so we will just paste again okay cloning process uh, finished so uh, we can type dir just to see what's ha what has happened uh, there is the directory, the AGSNRC directory. It has been cloned in on, on our system. We need to download the uh, configuration uh, file, the AGS configure Windows file. So we need to go to the release page, click on this link. And then uh, EGS NRC 2020, that's the latest uh, release. Uh, uh, and we have the EGS configure Windows uh, file. We need to download that file. Okay, so we get a graphical user interface uh, for the configuration of EGS. So we just hit next. Now, uh, uh, this line, we need to uh, enter the directory uh, the in-house directory that directory is under the uh, EGS NRC directory that we have cloned from from uh, git so we can browse to that directory it's under our PC uh, we have installed it in our area uh, so it's under the C drive users and that will be Wabdel and then it's under Wabdel EGS and that's the directory so we'll select it now we need to also create uh, an eggs home uh, directory uh, so uh, we uh, we need to create it so my suggestion is you you create it again under your users area and let's create a directory a uh, new folder and we will call it egs underscore home if you want to make it capital that's fine it doesn't it's not really uh, there's no difference there so select home uh, select folder okay and there it is okay typical and then we hit on next do you want to overwrite it yes we do 
and uh, next uh, just if you have uh, if the environment of your compilers uh, were not properly set you would get you would be prompted prompted uh, uh, to locate where is your G uh, or your Fortran compiler your uh, C compiler and uh, C++ and, and make utilities my suggestion uh, is that you just reboot your computer and those uh, environments uh, should uh, be set uh, properly or uh, go to that uh, the edit environment uh, and make sure everything is fine there so next we'll just click on set shortcuts and this is the set environment for the EGS uh, application and we hit on install it's going to take a while so installation has finished installation has finished uh, and we should be able now to run the EGS NRC so we'll test it now click on finish and we'll close our browser close all now on the desktop you'll see that uh, the installation has actually created shortcuts to uh, some of the uh, popular uh, EGS uh, um, applications we will start we will just uh, run the EGS uh, GUI so double click on it and uh, there it is it has opened and everything uh, it seems to be functional we can test also compilation so we can uh, uh, compile and we can uh, just select the cavity uh, and uh, hit on go so it should start to compile that uh, user code without any errors so I hope uh, this demonstration is going to be helpful uh, uh, to you uh, you can uh, forward uh, this uh, video to uh, uh, YouTube link to your colleagues who are uh, who want to install EGS on their system uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel uh, and uh, click on notifications um, in order to get uh, updated uh, with the new uh, videos thank you very much